So good afternoon. My name is Lauren Edelstein Henry, and I'm here today to help you find your inner badass. And you might think that badass is an inappropriate word to use at DIA, but I assure you that it will make sense as I go on in my presentation. So my story starts when I was about 11 years old, and I spent a lot of time in the bathroom for an 11-year-old. And it never seemed to get better. You know, I got through middle school and high school, into college, and I still was spending like way more time in the bathroom than I should. And I saw my pediatrician, I saw my gastroenterologist. Finally, between my freshman and sophomore year in college, my parents said, we've had enough. We're taking you to the foremost expert in gastroenterology to figure out what's wrong with you. So they dragged me into New York City to Park Avenue to the Mount Sinai Medical Center. And there I met a doctor named Henry Janowitz who looked at my file, he looked at my x-rays, and he said, Lauren, you have a textbook case of Crohn's disease. Hmm. So here I am, this 19-year-old girl, and I'm faced with this dilemma. All of a sudden, I'm a 19-year-old girl who has Crohn's disease. If you don't know what Crohn's disease is, it's an immune disorder where your um, immune system will affect your digestive tract anywhere from your mouth on out. For me, it was mostly in my colon, a little bit in my small intestine. It causes inflammation. It causes lots of problems. So. You know, again, here I am, a 19-year-old with this chronic disorder, and I have to make a decision. Am I going to be Lauren, who has Crohn's disease, or am I going to let Crohn's disease define who I am? Well, my inner badass stepped up for the first time and went, you are still Lauren, and Crohn's disease will have to answer to you. All right, then. So that's the way that I decided I was going to live my life. And one of the ways that I decided to live my life was by not focusing on the why me factor. And anytime that anything bad happens to people, it could be you know, your family, it could be your health, anything, the first question that people ask is why me? Which is fine, and it's a great question to ask. You just can't dwell on it. So instead of asking why me, I asked, what now? What can I do now to improve my situation? What can I do now to make myself more educated and get better faster? One of the things that I learned in my journey is that when you're dealing with these kind of situations, you need a lot of patience. And Axel Rose said it the best from Guns N' Roses that you just need a little patience because sometimes your problem will resolve itself in five minutes. And sometimes it can take five years. And you can't rush it. And if you rush it, you get all anxious, and it just makes things worse. So, throughout my tenure with Crohn's disease, I've had five major surgeries. And the biggest one happened in 1999. I was basically knocking on death's door. I was 106 pounds. I couldn't eat. I couldn't work. I had no quality of life. My doctor said to me, Lauren, your colon looks like Swiss cheese. It needs to come out, and you're going to have to wear a bag for the rest of your life. So you either have the surgery or you die, black and white. And my inner badass said, stupid, have the surgery. So I had the surgery. So instead of being upset about it, I had a party, a bring your own bag party. And I actually had t-shirts with this logo on it. And I had that party for 10 years from the time I had that surgery until 10 years later. And every year, my friends would come and help me celebrate. So poop happens to everybody. And again, your situation may not be a chronic illness. Your situation may be your family, or your kids, or your finance, or your job. No matter what happens to you in this lifetime, you're going to come across a big problem. And when that happens, you have three choices. You can let it define you, you can let it destroy you, or you can let it strengthen you. And I'm here today to inspire you to let the inner badass come out and let it strengthen you. So this is my inner badass. And I have her tattooed on my arm. So every time that something goes wrong, I can look at her. And I got her right after I had another surgery. I had two of them, actually, back to back in 2010. Six months out of commission. And it happens when you have a chronic disease. You know, you may think that you're all better, and then something else pops up. But even though I had all these surgeries, and I've had all these issues, and I couldn't eat, and I got sick, I managed to live one hell of a good life from then up until now. And these are just a few of the things that I've accomplished, and I already have things in the books to keep accomplishing as I go on. And the way that I did it is when poop happened to me, I didn't dwell on that why me question. Instead of going, oh, why me, and being all upset, I said, what now? What can I do now? So my inspiration to you is that the next time that poop happens to you, you reach down deep inside yourself, you pull out your inner badass, and you be a little badass every day. Thank you.